Against the backdrop of 2023 being the hottest year since records began, St. Lucia is moving ahead with its adaptation strategies for a changing climate and its impact on life as we know it. The national coordinator of the NAP GCF Readiness Project, Mrs. Maxim Matthew Charles, says she is delighted about the response at the launch of this very important undertaking. Adaptation is critical, especially for a small island developing state like St. Lucia. It is so important to us to be able to anticipate what climate change impacts will look like in the future and to start building our resilience in many of our sectors. This will ensure that we are being prepared for what's to come. We're planning for the future and not only dealing with the current causes and impacts that we are feeling now. The Acting Chief Sustainable Development and Environment Officer Don Pierre Nathaniel says Thursday's launch is in keeping with the effort to ensure that the necessary steps are taken to minimize disruption to life in a world reeling from the effects of climate change. We are continuing the process for our national adaptation planning process, our NAP process that started several years ago. As we know, we are very much impacted by climate change and we have to find ways to address climate change. And we are looking at adaptation measures um, under our national adaptation plan. Our national adaptation plan was developed in um, 2018 and stakeholders were able to identify eight priority sectors of importance for St. Lucia in addressing climate change. And uh, this umbrella document has indicative measures for climate action that are short-term, medium-term and long-term um, uh, measures over a 10-year period from 2018 to 2028. The St. Lucia project will benefit from the oversight and supervision of the NAP Global Network and the International Institute for Sustainable Development. Olive Gray is the head of the NAP Global Network. He says his organization has a very good track record in St. Lucia. So we will be managing in terms of the project, in terms of the management of the project itself and how it's implemented, all the logistics to do with that. And we're also supporting on some of the more technical aspects of the implementation, including the SASAPs. So we'll be providing um, direct technical support, developing the sector strategy and action. The NAP GCF Readiness Project will, over the next 30 months, engage several important sectors of the St. Lucian society, all in an effort to ensure that as many nationals and interests are on board as St. Lucia makes the necessary changes to lessen the disruption expected by climate change. Stanley Lucian for the HS News Force.